taking another note. But I want to come back to the issue of apostasy you mentioned, encouraging apostasy. Of yeah. course, I mean, when we're saying apostasy should not be criminalized, none of us are promoting apostasy here, right? Quite, and by the way, I am, my contention is that, my observation is that we are having apostasy precisely because of the people who want to kill apostates. Right. Uh, I mean, this coercive understanding of Islam. I've written a few articles. I mean, you, what I write in the New York Times and elsewhere, a few times I wrote that today Iran is the number one country that produces ex-Muslims. Right. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. from, I mean, people who become Christians from Islam or pure atheists, mm -hmm. uh, very hostile too. I mean, many years ago, I, I was in a taxi in Boston and I saw the driver and his name was Muhammad something. I said, oh, salam alaikum, brother. And he said, I don't speak that language. I said, oh, sorry, like what happened? Like, then he told me his story. His father was a, a bureaucrat in the Shah regime and then he was tortured and killed. And he said, this is what Islam did to my father. I said, like, it's not Islam, but the Islamic Republic of Iran. But when do these things become conflated, right? His reaction to the regime, oppressive right. regime, turn into the religion itself. I mean, that one reason I'm, uh, I think we should figure out these freedom issues, on which I, you and I, I think, are very much similar. I mean, on apostasy, on blasphemy, I don't know what you think about that too. But I think by taking Quranic principles like la ikraha bitin, to your religion, to me, mine, that, and by reviving the Meccan verses that were abrogated, uh, we can have a non-coercive understanding of Islam, which will be much better for the future of our faith. Because I think we, are, if we are losing people, it's not because we are not coercing people. It's quite the contrary. It's, it's there's a lot of coercion done in the name of Islam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I think that. I mean, I, I believe. I mean, we're about ninety five percent in agreement, right? You know, I mean, cause, see, um, that's a lot. Again, that's and, 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 unless I'm misunderstanding you, I mean, um, with regard to how far you want to take freedom, right? You know, in other words, as a value, as a, as a side. I can say value, a few like, things on like, that. Like, because like, I don't believe anyone believes in absolute freedom. Like, anyone should have the absolute freedom to, to, have, to, to speak, to the absolute freedom to, uh, you understand, to follow their conscience, right? You know, I, I don't think anyone, even though that's, that's what we preach, right, in the West, right? We're told in the West, right? I don't believe that anyone truly believes that. You know, we believe everyone has a limit, right? Uh, and um, yes, I, I don't believe that a, a non Muslim who, disparages the Prophet وسلم, should be killed, right? Even though, of course, we do find this in our tradition. However, I don't believe that it should be okay for someone to disparage the Prophet or any other Prophet, right? You know, I, I think that it should be discouraged in certain ways. It, there should be some type of disincentive against those type of things. In the same way, there should be disincentive against um, um, speech which is insightful, that 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 you know you understand you know so so I I I'm so, so I I'm there with regard to okay yes uh, the threat of of execution doesn't encourage faith if that person dies a non-Muslim who was once a Muslim and he leaves Islam and you kill them in the state of kufr then um, what what was really the, the 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 point what benefit came from that right you know you know so and again I'm not saying that. At the same time, I'm not saying that I figure out something that early scholars didn't figure out, but I do believe that because of ossification, because of uncritical imitation, right, going to taking to an extreme, uh, and then also, again, I suspect that context was lost, right? You know, you know, because when we were talking about the Hanafi position on apostasy, you know, how they make the distinction between women man and men, and yeah. right. Again, once again, I just again, this is sort of like just a digression slightly is that the Hanafi position about women as opposed to men is really a scripture based argument, right, rather than a rational uh, argument, right? Because because there's a hadith that says, don't kill uh, women, women and children, children That's right? the famous hadith, only yeah. those who fight against you. And yeah. so they say, so here in this case, th th that becomes an exception, just taqsis al am. Right, so the, the 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 hadith about killing those who change their religion or their way their life path that is limited. Right, you know, right, by the, is, 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 you know yeah. So 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 I do believe that like many of the early scholars' position, in particular those we consider to be the mushtaidin or the those the eponymous founders of the schools, had opinions at times which 
uh, the context for which we had not been passed down. And that's just simply a belief, a suspicion I have personally, you know, you know, but I do think that it is important for us to reach back in the past. If we want to convince more Muslim, a larger uh, number of Muslims of these things, it is important to, to find those precedents that help the arguments rather than saying that, okay, well, you know, uh, this particular rational explanation, you know, is the reason why I, I adopt this, this position. And of course, there are going to be many Muslims who are inclined towards that, right? They are going to be, you know, as you know. But I think the vast majority of them are not really willing to go there because they fear that they're going to be letting go, right, of something which is supposed to be anchoring them, right, you know, which, you know, morally, right, which is Islamic law, you know, and then, of course, the ethical teachings beyond that. Well, I mean, I, I agree with you to a great extent. And I mean, that's why in the chapters about freedom in my book, like uh, blasphemy, apostasy and religious policing, Hispa, the three issues that I discuss. Uh, I go to textual issues. I mean, I look into what the Quran says, what the Hadith or the Sira says. And for example, on blasphemy, there are stories of poets, you know, like Kabin Ashraf or people like that who were executed and they're taken as basis for blasphemy as well. They're not, they didn't just blaspheme, but they also incited war against yes, the right. community. <laughs> so it's not just that where there are other cases where Prophet was reviled, but he forgave them or he didn't attack them, you know. Yeah. So why don't we take them as an example? By the way, Ibn Taymiyyah has an interesting argument on that, which is quoted in Pakistani course. He says, the Prophet had the right to forgive insults to himself, but we cannot. <laughs> so, whereas, I mean, why don't we... Why no, that's we, pretty, we, pretty common. It's, 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 very, it's fairly common, you find that. You know, it was okay, not, I mean, it's not just the Hanafis. It's, it's actually, you find it among the Malikis, like, for instance, called the Iyad in his tarif. Uh, his, yeah, uh, I mean, Ibn Taymiyyah, I said, make it, makes it... Makes it yeah. Point yeah, well, yeah, the Han Hanbali, right, yeah. All right, yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, pretty common. I mean, well, this is a way of interpretation. I would rather say, well, the, here there is a sunnah there, right? That, that, that's the prophet's behavior. So, I mean, this would be a different interpretation. Right. Where do I want to take...